Okay, so what you do is write the products and then balance. Okay, so the products, you want to think of aluminum with an H minus. Al, H3. Why H3? Because aluminum is 3 plus. Now I've got to balance it. If I put a 2 here and a 3 here, and then a 2 here, that'll count for everything. Okay? Okay, let's go on. Let's go aluminum plus oxygen. Well, whatever it is, you find that what the negative charge would be and what you're adding would be O2 minus with an Al3 plus, that'd be Al2O3. I could go on from there. I could say, oh, let's add water to this. Well, if I add water, I'm going to make the aluminum hydroxide. So whenever you add water, you make the hydroxide. It's Al3 plus NOH minus 1, so it's ALOH3. Now, oh yes, uh, Tina. Yeah, I have to balance, so. Yeah, oh, thank you. Okay, I have to balance everything. That's, it's totally messed up. So, uh, if I put a 3 here, and a 2 there, and a 4 here, that balances the first one. For the second one, now I've got four aluminums, so four aluminums there. I've got, uh, oh my goodness, 12 oxygens on the right, and I've got right now six here, so if I put six there, and that'll give me 12 hydrogens on each side. There we go. Balance. Okay? So far, so good? Okay, do you want more? Okay. We're on a roll with aluminum, so let's just rock and roll with it. Cl2, that'll make aluminum, it's a 3 plus, with a Cl, which is minus 1, so AlCl3. Got to balance it. 2 here, 3 here, and 2 there. You want more? Okay, she's done. <laughs>